Hello. Today, we're starting a Hollow Knight playthrough, so I can show you the optimal strategies, but also, you can just enjoy watching me play. This is the Elegy of Hallowness, and it's probably my favourite poem ever. Yeah, Hollow Knight is my favourite video game. I think the whole entire thing is executed very well. I have beaten the game, so... My reactions to everything, I already know what's happening. Alright, well here we go. I think today I'll aim to get to Hornet, which is my favourite boss. game in a while. So basically the idea of this game is you're a knight, for some reason, trapped in, well not trapped, but you're in this world called Hallowness, which is filled with these infected bugs. And you learn about all you can do. You can, uh, when I strike enemies, you might see that meter at the top of the screen filling up, which is soul. And I can use that to um, get health back or when I get them, perform spells. I need some Geo, which I can buy from the shops later. I was hoping that Stalic had a full-on revenge fly. Yes, I know, I know the names of all the creatures, and that's one of my favourite parts of the game, so I'll just be pointing that out. These are... Oh, what are they called? Yeah. What I said about knowing all the names, I, I do, but at the back of my mind. Coolids, maybe? Coolers. Something like that. I'm not, I'm not, there's a secret, oh, there's a secret charm at the start of this game, which I'm not going to bother to get, just because I don't need it, and it's not a very good charm in my opinion. Charms are like these relic -y things that you can equip. Here we go. We're starting the game fully now. It's dark now. No. No, no, no. Haha. Can't be bothered to listen to what he's saying. It's going to trigger the whole night community. He's, he's a nice person, really. This is Elder Doug. He's very nice. And this is a bench where I can just sit and equip charms and stuff. I don't really have anything yet. So. Let's dive in to the Forgotten Crossroads. I'm used to being able to kill all these enemies in one hit. It's very annoying that I can't. Well, these are Tick Ticks. Twice as good as Tick Tock. These are like Gruzzers or something. Can't remember those things are called. That is Cornifer, or as I call him, Cornflakes. Most people call him Cornflakes. You can buy maps from him. I'll buy his map. Because it's useful. Even though I kind of know the way around this game, I'm still going to get all the maps. Yeah, you can see. Right, so this is sort of like a mini boss fight, which is against two Aspids. 
which are like fly things that squirt gobules at you. At the start of the game when I first did it, I really struggled with it, but I'm going to show you a way that makes it a bit easier, or try to at least. And there's a secret up here, which doesn't, it just drops right down to the fight anyway. But there's still more Geo. Need more Geo. Aspids, there's a version of Aspids called Primal Aspids, where if you play Hollow Knight, you know how hateful they are. So at the start, you just want to kind of wait until it spits at you, then jump, and then go in for the attack. And don't be afraid to hit it as many times as you can. The other one spits. There's one gone. Yeah, so you kind of want to make them hit the sort of wall things. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you that up here, there's a, a thing where you can recharge all your soul, which is this lake. And it recharges your soul, so that so I can heal and use up some of my soul, and then I can fill it all back up again. And there's also a bench, which is very nice. You're a type of husk. I can't remember what type. There are a lot of husks, which are like the citizens of Hallow Nest before they all got infected. If you want to know more about like the infection and all the lore of the game, there's a YouTuber called Mossbag who does it really well. He's made an entire video about all the lore in the game. quite close to the one of the boss fights which is the false knight which is the first one there's some stuff I need to do first I want to fight a different boss fight called Gruz Mother and I want to open this the, these are called the stagways they're like the sort of fast travel system in the game and they're rung by a stag beetle except from he isn't a stag beetle if you have a look at him I think he's a rhinoceros beetle, which is very annoying because I like games to be accurate. But I can't say anything bad about Hollow Knight just because it's so good. So this is Gruz Mother. So for this one, just try and do as many hits as you can, and heal between your attacks. You'll tell when she charges at you, but she can also just... Oh, stop trying to hit me when I'm trying to heal. She'll start doing this. So you want to get, like, the other side to her. I'm not doing very well, I'm so sorry. So when she starts the sort of slamming attack, you want to get, like, the other side to her. No, oh, okay. But if you just don't be afraid of the boss, try and hit it as many times as you can. And be ready for this. There's, yeah, loads of gruzzers spawn. Side note: these are actually like at the bottom of the map. They're like outside the map until you beat the boss, and then it gets spawned in, which is just an interesting little fact. Right, here is Sly. He's very funny. <laughs> very funny. He opens this shop, which we can get some good stuff from later.
by Vengefly. Oh, I hear the grub. Right, here's a secret, breakable wall. And inside is a bunch of aspids. And a grub. Oh. These guys are good. I'm gonna need to go to their father, who's the grub father. And once you return all the grubs to him, well, he gives you rewards as you turn the grubs. Right. Some interesting piece of lore. The false knight is actually a little maggot who stole the armor of a great knight. So, when he jumps towards you, go underneath him and just try and get as many hits off of him as you can. Stand really close to him. Right, there we go. We've already got him there. Here, you just want to hit him as much. But you can also bounce off his belly. Just will hit his face. Alright, now we want to stay at the corner of the room and wait until he's finished this attack. If you're really brave, you can try and hit one of the... Oh, when he jumps away, he's going to do that. So you need to be prepared for that if he jumps backwards. There we go. So they're making pretty good progress. And if you just get up and close to him... Alright, we can also get... Um, the rocks that he makes fall from the ceiling, we can hit them towards him. Alright, he's gonna slam. Ooh, almost got caught out by that one. Alright, we've got time to heal up here. Right. There's also a secret up here. But I'm not, we're not going to talk about that. Because it's much better killing the boss. Hello. And we have defeated the first major boss in the game. And we've picked up this, the city crest, which is useful for getting... Well, it's how we get to an area later in the game. There we go. Aww. Right, let's collect our geo. A lot of geo. Talking, the snail shaman grants us our spell. We hooray! Now for one of my least favourite parts of the game, the ancient mounds. What we have to fight, fight this stupid little boss thing. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Come on! Come on! There's these little things which roll across the floor, which are really annoying, because you can hardly see them. And basically the thing we have to fight is like a massive version of them. Right, so here's the boss. So I've saved up all my soul for that. Now I have to wait until he spits out an enemy. There's not really any strategy to this. Just avoid the things and kill the enemy. There we go. And we got our first charm, which is soul catcher, which means we get more soul. Stop laughing. 
right, now on some of my one of my favourite areas in the game. Oh, green path, which is where Hornet is. So we can equip this charm. And we have more soul. Green path. Oh, yeah, this is what guards it, so you can't just go in here at the start of the game. Come on, spit out an enemy. Thank you. Oh. Right, there we go. Delicious geo. And now there's acid, hooray! Which we quite obviously. Oh. I was about to say we quite obviously cannot go in. And now you can see why. If you play this game, you're not allowed to do it without volume. Aha! Alright, be careful, the body will explode. Always remember that. This one's body doesn't explode. Oop, there he goes. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, how did I get hit by that? Yes, I've got some of the birds. The birds are quite hard to get, but you get an entry in the Monster's Journal, which I will of course be activating. It's one of my favourite parts of the game, was collecting the entries of all the different creatures. Ah, the squid. It's oh, there's Hornet. Right, can I do it? No, I cannot. I was trying to do a special skip thing. Oh wait, I said no skips, didn't I? Oh well, oh, no, oh! <laughs> right. Let's see what animals we already have, so I can remember all their names. The Crawlid, it was a Crawlid! Venshry, Gruzza, Gruz Mother, Tit Tick, Aspid Hunter, Wandering Husk, Husk Quornhead, Leaping Husk, Husk Billy, The False Knight, Bulger, Elder Bulger, Muskrat, Damaskin Squid, Mask Fly. Yeah, these are quite hard to get. You need to fire a spell at them. You need to defeat, yeah, defeat 30 more to decipher the hunter's notes. You have to defeat a bunch of them, and then you, like, unlock some extra stuff. This is the thing you have to fight if you die. And I haven't died yet, but I probably will. So we'll have to see when I do die. Hornet! Yay! If I get any comments saying I'm a hornet simp, I will stop the playthrough. Hmm. Gonna have to go up. Or we could go through here. I'm gonna fight this guy, which is like a mini boss again. Oh, contact damage, really. The best thing for these guys is to go. Just brute force them. Tap their shield. And then. Tap their shield, then walk away a bit, then come back. Oh. 
Oh god, oh god. Oh, unfair. Oh, thank goodness. Let's go. We have a very interesting thing. The Vengeful Eye King has caught in a very interesting person called Zoat. So I could save him and be really nice, or I could be really mean and walk away. I hate Zoat, and I just want to walk away, but for the sake of it, I'm just going to fight the boss. Yeah, when he roars, though, he moves forward, so you can kind of, like, go underneath him. Oh, there we go. I forgot these things have less health than later in, when you meet them later in the game. Alright, Zoat, are you going to wake up? Die, die, die. Let's see. Let's see, he's, he's not even f um, thankful that we saved him. Because that's where Hornet is. Finally. So the best thing for this fight, when when she dives, is your chance. Yeah, she does give little warning. But if she jumps, you want to stay far away from her to give yourself time to jump. When she faints like that, heal. That's also a chance to heal. If she throws her needle, you've got time to get away. Side note, I can play this song on piano. You didn't need to know that, but you do now. Oh. No, you're not killing me. Excellent. Time to heal. So embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know how many memes of her there are, of all different hornet sounds when she fights. Oh, finally we get the dash. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. These are the dreamers. Uh, the one on the left is Hornet's mum. If you saw that briefly. Uh, one of them was Mom on the Teacher, who, if you remember, wrote the poem we saw at the start of this. Hey, got one. <laughs> This is Squirrel. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I think this is where I'm going to call it day. Next time, we're going to head towards the Fungal Wastes. Maybe do a bit more exploring, try to get some better charms. Well, thank you for listening. <laughs>